In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about tracks, auxiliary buses, and stereo buses in Cakewalk by BandLab. Make sure you are running the latest version of Cakewalk by BandLab. I'm running version 2019.12, build 26. In Cakewalk by BandLab, there are three types of tracks that we can create. Analog audio tracks, MIDI tracks, and instrument tracks. To add an analog audio track, the easiest way is to click on the plus sign, select audio, select your input. For mono tracks, use left or right depending where your microphone is connected. And for stereo, you can select the stereo, which is the left and the right together. And we can create. We can create multiple tracks and the number of tracks is only limited by the power of your computer. So here we have an audio track and we are ready to record analog audio onto this track. The next track type we can add in Cakewalk by BandLab, again limited only by the computer's resources, is an instrument track. We click the plus sign again Instead of audio, we select an instrument. Here we can select our virtual instrument, by default TTS, that comes with Cakewalk by BandLab, but if you have any other virtual instrument, they'll be all listed here. At the input, we can select our MIDI controller or virtual controller. In my case, I have the Arturia Mini Lab connected, so I'm just going to select Arturia Minilab as my input controller and click create. Once the instrument track is created, the virtual instrument is also loaded and we are ready to play on our MIDI controller keyboard and have a listen to the sounds. The next type of track we can create in Cakewalk by BandLab is a MIDI track. Similar to the instrument track, MIDI tracks allows you to record and play MIDI notes, except no virtual instrument is assigned to that MIDI track. Not as common as the instrument track, but very useful using external MIDI sound modules rather than virtual instruments, or controlling external MIDI devices. To create a MIDI track, we right-click anywhere in a blank area and select Insert MIDI Track. Here we can assign our inputs and our outputs. The MIDI track gives you options of scales, quantizing, arpeggiator, and so on. Remember, with MIDI tracks, unless you assign a virtual instrument, like the instrument track, you won't hear any audio when you play them back without any external sound modules. We can quickly identify each track by the icons. Waves for analog audio, keyboard for virtual instruments, and the 5-pin DIN connector icon for MIDI tracks. The next track type available in Cakewalk by BandLab which is not quite common in many DAWs, is an auxiliary track. The main difference between auxiliary track and other track is that auxiliary track takes its input from other tracks rather than your audio interface. So you can assign multiple track analog audio or MIDI instrument and combine them into the input of your auxiliary track. Very similar to buses, which we're going to look at later on, except to the fact that you are able to record the mix combined audio onto that track, where buses don't have the recording facility. Auxiliary tracks are quite useful to record the output of a virtual instrument as an analog audio. And the easiest way to create auxiliary tracks is to go to the output of the track, 
Click the arrow. Here, select New Auxiliary Track. Now, as we can see, the output of our virtual instrument track, instead of going to the master track, like in our analog track, it's going to the auxiliary one track. And the output of the auxiliary one track is going to the master. And here, as I mentioned earlier, we are able to click the record button and record the output of our virtual instrument as an analog audio. We can go further and select the output of our analog audio track into auxiliary one. And now here we can record on our auxiliary one track the combined audio of our track one and our virtual instrument. Auxiliary tracks not only allow us to combine multiple tracks into one track, the advantage is we can also use a single fader to control the volume of two or more tracks at the same time. Those are the four types of tracks available in Cakewalk by BandLab. Next, let's have a look at the buses. By default, Cakewalk by BandLab will have three buses already assigned onto the project. Those are your master bus, the metronome bus, and the preview bus. As you can see, buses do not have any options to record any audio onto the timeline. We can create more buses by right clicking and inserting a stereo bus. We can call this drum bus. And then we can go and assign our tracks into our drum bus. Buses, similar to auxiliary tracks, combine multiple inputs into one controllable bus with a fader. If you open up your console and you cannot see your buses, most likely hiding in the corner. Move your mouse right to the edge till you get those arrows and drag it open. Here we can actually see our master bus, our metronome bus, our preview bus, and our newly created drum bus. Again, the drum bus, similar to our auxiliary bus, controls the volume of all its combined track inputs. In Cakewalk by BandLab, there are two more options of buses available. One of them is the surround bus, which gives you five independent audio tracks combined with 3D panning and patch points. I will discuss these two special buses in another video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.